All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into to today's review, I would just like to thank each and every one of you. The channel has reached over 2,000 subscribers now, and that's just really awesome. Uh, never thought the channel would get this far, but it, it, it has, and uh, it's still going, and we've got plenty more reviews to do. We will be doing a giveaway sometime this week, so stay tuned for that. Today we're going to be checking out a Canadian IMP. We haven't done one of these for a while and I still have a few left. Um, this one's going to be beef and vegetable stew, menu number 20. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. This is a 20, 2020 by the way. So Still got a little bit of life left in it. Really cool pull, pull cord there. The zipper pouch. Alright, let's see what we've got in this. Wait a minute. Hmm. Smell coming from it. All kinds of different smells. First thing we got is a pack of matches. Just the first thing I pulled out of there. They always provide one of these little towels that you can put in water. Compression napkin. I throw these in all my kits. Really cool to have. Got some Nescafe sweet and creamy. This stuff is actually really good by the way. Will not be making this today because, well, it's early in the morning or late at night for me. And, uh, well, gotta get to bed sometime. Oh, I've never seen one of these yet. We have a peanut butter energy bar. 65 grams. All right. Oh, this is from Meal Kit Supply Company. Very cool. I've seen their MREs, or yeah, I've seen them, their MREs, but extremely expensive. All right, so we've got some sliced peaches here. Awesome. Oh, some peanut mix. These are good. Packaged for D&D. &D. Hmm. Alright. I was just looking at the ingredients. Peanuts, fine maple sugar, icing sugar. Well, let's see what we got in there. There's a lot of stuff in here. Here's our hamburger bun. Pain hamburger. This should be our main. Yep, beef and vegetable stew. Um, we will. Yeah, well, I'll put some. I'll get some hot water for this one. We usually don't heat them up, but I feel like heating it up today. Ooh, fruit punch. I don't know if I've had a fruit punch sports drink. Looking forward to that. We got another fruit punch. And what I really like about Canadians, MREs. So we've got peanut butter and we've got jelly. Strawberry jam. Which will go for our hamburger bun. We have a beverage bag. And we've got a sachet of Tabasco. We've got a Canadian Spork. I try to keep and hold on to those. We've got a very large napkin, and I've actually heard these called Canadian beach towels. Don't remember what reviewer I heard that from, but I thought it was pretty funny. And we've got some Tic Tacs. All right, well, let's uh, get some hot water, get this stuff out on the table, our tray, and see what we've got. All right, well, we got everything out. It's a little a little cramped in here. A lot of stuff in these menus, but that's all right. Let's stand there. I got the, uh, got the main and some hot water. Let's check out this fruit 
punch. Oh, it doesn't look like it's done so well. I'm going to have to say that's probably from heat damage. These MREs did come direct from Canada when I bought them. It mixed up pretty well, considering the condition that it was in. And most fruit punches don't mix up very well, so that's a oh, that's really good. All right, let's move on here. This energy bar. Over that, I think that that's what I was smelling when I opened this bag. It smells like peanut butter. Let's check out this peanut mix. Let's see what we've got. There we are. Ooh, those look really good. All right, let's get our hamburger bun out here. Really like that they do this. I should have had a, oh, do I have a knife to cut it? I think I do. You can use the haunt shoe. They don't complete the cut, unfortunately. This knife I have to be careful with. It's extremely sharp. Oh! Well, the bread wanted to tear anyway. You know, still got what we needed out of it. Well, some things just don't want to cooperate today. And this is our jam. Let's go ahead and start with the jelly first. Jelly or jam, actually. Their um, their jams are so good. I mean, these are actual preserves. You can tell, and they taste <laughs> they taste homemade. I mean, they're really good. Really, really good. So, all right, there's our PB and J. Go ahead and check out this. Uh, these were the sliced peaches. Now you know these. I don't know why, but I was told by one viewer that. Who see? They think that this was because this was frozen and then thawed, but that is not edible. You cannot eat that. I mean, you can. If you, if you would like to take a trip down to the ER. See that? Yeah, that's... My friends, that is not edible. Not edible at all. Alright, well... This has had plenty of time to heat up. There we are. Let's 
Now this is probably just going to be a taste review because, well, I already ate today. So let's see what we got here. Looking pretty good. Plenty of meat. Potatoes. Some carrots. Not a lot. Some peas in there. Let's grab a carrot. Oh, that tastes just fine. If you've had Dinty Moore's beef stew, then you'll know that this is what that tastes just like. Mm hmm. Pretty good. I cannot complain with that. Let's try out the meal kit supplies energy bar. Pretty good. So if this is a meal kit energy bar, then those meal kit supplies, um, MREs, they must come from uh, Canada? If you know, let me know in the description. But I can tell you those meal kit supply ones, they can get rather expensive on the cases. So these are like candied. They're sweet. And then regular peanuts. Pretty good mix. And then of course you know my favorite. The PB and J. I think this bread is starting to get to its point of, no, it's still good. I think it's getting there though. Mm-hmm. I'm using my Canadian beach towel here. This thing's huge. How big this thing is. I thought it folded out one more time. But still, it's huge. But that's a good thing. You need a big napkin. Good fire starter, too. All in all, a uh, great ration. Except for the peaches. I don't know what the heck that is. Um, I really don't think that that's from heating or freezing and thawing. I think that that's just because they are not preserving the fruit right. Because I know that canned fruit stays for a really long time. So I'm not sure what the deal is on this. But, that'll do it for today's video, guys. Um, so keep an eye out. Like I said, there is going to be a giveaway coming up. And, uh, yeah, that'll be it. So until next time, guys, y'all have a good one.